You know, people say that the reason we like to have sex or that we're driven, like that's one of our base needs on the hierarchy, uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And they say that we need sex because it's one of our survival mechanisms that in order to survive, we got to propagate the species and all that kind of stuff. But I'm wondering if there's another component that people have been overlooking in all this modern psychology. You know, one thing that really drives people that I've seen when I look around uh, everyone that just in their occupation and, and the directions that they go in life is creativity. People strive to show their creativity. We want to be creative in some fashion, whether it's creating a home to live in, whether it's making a beautiful cake or making some other really good dish, uh, making ourselves great in the world with a business, being creative in that venue, whether it's creating music or um, creating products that other people will use, drawing, painting, photography, all of these things are creative outlets for us. It's things that we love to do because it expresses our creativity. And you know what? The ultimate creative act that a human can do is create another human being. There is no creative act that is superior to that. Think about it. When two people come together and they unite in a sexual way, they are creating another human being. And that is the ultimate creative act. And I think that is the, the, the magic, the synergy that draws people together and promotes this insatiable desire for sex. I mean, yeah, the base need of survival and all that, I, I can understand that, that there's, you know, that, that whether you call it God or nature or the universe, put this craving in humans and in all animals actually to have this sexual desire in order to propagate the species. But I think there's that other element to it that in doing that, we are being creative in a way that is beyond anything else that we could possibly do. We are creating another human being. And that creative act is the ultimate. And now we have people that are trying to create artificial intelligence and robots, and they're trying to do things to simulate what we do when we have sex, they're trying to create human life out of silicon chips and electronics. I'm trying to use technology to duplicate with the intent to eclipse what we do naturally in the sexual act, which is to create human life. And it's just ridiculous. We were meant to create human life and that life can grow or it may die. It may die soon, it may grow to an old age. We don't know, but Creating human life is a key component of our natural desire. Anyway, just a different perspective on the whole sexual act thing that I thought you might find interesting. But think about it for yourself and what it means to actually 
create a human being, to actually have a child, it's totally different than adoption, totally different than having a dog or a cat or some other pet. To have a child created from your own DNA, that is magical.